there is one very simple, effective, and inexpensive upgrade for the CR30 that I highly recommend, and that's replacing the x-axis wheels with a linear rail. What is it about the stock setup that makes this so important? Unlike traditional 3D printers, the hot end is cantilevered off the x-axis at 45 degrees. This leads to torsional forces unique to this printer. The wheels are very close together on a narrow rail, meaning they are unable to meaningfully handle these forces. It's quite easy to rotate the plate out of plane by hand. If you try to tighten the eccentric nuts on the wheels, they wear out exceptionally fast and also make the steppers work harder. The Y-rail wheels are immune to this for two reasons. First, the extrusion they're mounted to is twice as thick. This spaces the wheels more acceptably. Second, and more crucially, the Y plates are connected by the X axis, effectively preventing out of plane movement. We start the upgrade by removing the hot end components from the X mounting plate retainer clip, Bowden tube, X end stop, fan shroud, and finally the hot end. In recent models, two nuts have been added to the back of the hot end screws. Next, we need to loosen the XY steppers, which in turn loosens the belts so we can remove the X carriage plate. There are three bolts for each of these steppers. We remove the rear two and just slightly loosen one on the side, then rotate the steppers 45 degrees. Once we've done that, we can unclip the belts from the X carriage and temporarily zip tie them to themselves, which will hold the X axis in place while we drill holes in the X carriage. Remove one top bolt and loosen the second to remove the plate. Now we can finish removing the components from the plate and place the pattern and then using a three and a half millimeter drill bit, drill out the holes. This hole pattern matches the 20 millimeter square on the pill block of the X rail. We will now use four M3 eight millimeter bolts with uh, T-slot nuts and fasten them loosely and evenly spaced in the X rail, which then fits nicely on the X extrusion. Now we can tighten down the X rail using a printed spacer to ensure that it is even top to bottom, uh, which will ensure that your prints left to right are level. Now it's time to reattach the X plate using an additional four M3 eight millimeter screws with washers. The rest of the components now go back on the plate the same way they came off with the exception of the X end stop. The cover for that interferes with the new pole pattern, so we take the cover off. And when we go to reattach the X end stop, the two threaded holes actually already exist on the right hand side, as you'll see here, and just use the screws that came with the cover to put the end stop back in place. Once all those components are back on, we're going to reattach the belts. Going one side at a time, snip the zip tie, and then reroute the belt from the bottom up. This is the opposite of the direction that they came off, and this is necessitated by the fact that the X rail is thicker than the stock setup. It offsets it from the plate, and in order to keep the belts relatively level, you have to run them in the opposite direction. At this point, we need to retension the belts. Unfortunately, the video I shot for that was lost, so let's refer to this diagram. In the reverse order, you're going to pull the motors back and then reattach the two outer bolts. The topmost bolt is used for tensioning, and once that is set appropriately, you tighten the outer bolt. Because this new setup moves the hot end away from the belt significantly, you're going to have to move the Y end stop as far down as it will go, and then you will need to raise the belt up to the nozzle rather than lowering the nozzle down to the belt. This is one small downside of this arrangement, but it ends up working out. This small but effective upgrade is well worth it for the increase in rigidity in the x-axis, which is, I think, the weakest part of this printer mechanically out of the box. I hope you found this useful, and I look forward to your comments and feedback.